hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are gonna do a permanent curl otherwise known as jerry curls i know back in the 80s and 90s this was a really big deal you know everybody had jerry curls my mom had jerry, jerry curls everybody my aunts everybody had jerry curls however nobody really wears jerry curls now at least maybe it's trending now i'm not sure but i think it should be trending now because it is so cool you know you have this low maintenance hairstyle you always have curls and i don't know why people stop doing jerry but i like jerry it it's it's so cool because i like curly hair and i just think it's if you want to achieve those curls instead of putting all these products in your hair every morning you wake you have to put all different kind of products in your hair just to get that natural looking curl that everybody wants i think it's best that you just do jerry i don't know that's just what i think but i think jerry is the way to go and i think people should really start doing jerry again i did go ahead and shampoo the hair and now I'm just detangling it to apply the relaxer. Well, it's actually called rearranger. So I guess what that does, you know, it rearranges the natural coils of the hair. And so you can set it to whatever curl pattern you want it to be. So I'm just gently, because she's afraid of our hair so bad. <laughs> I'm just gently, um detangling the hair and i'm gonna put it in four sections and then i'm gonna apply from there Okay, so now that I've finished detangled and sectioned the hair, I'm going to apply the rearranger. Now I prefer to start from the ends so that it can work its way through while I go through each section. And guys, when I tell you, this smells horrible. Horrible, guys. The scent was, oh, it was like I had fish in the house left over trust me the scent isn't good so I, I advise that you do this in a well ventilated area I was doing this in my living room however the doors were open so it wasn't that bad but it smelled awful so I'm just using my hands and my fingers to just rub the product through the hair and then after I'm gonna go through with the comb to make sure that every strand had the rearranger on it. After the hair has been fully processed, then I rinse it out with just water, rinse out all the product from the hair, and then we're gonna dry with the towel. Not too rough, take your time and dry out the water.
and then we're going to put in the booster which is what we use to curl the hair so we're going to do the rotting now so we're just looking to see where i want to rot and how i want the curls to fall and then i place the booster on in small sections and then we're gonna rot some persons rot without the end papers but I think you get a better curl when you use the end papers so the curl is not fuzzy when it's finished it just come on nice and smooth at least that's my opinion this is a very long process so you can just watch I'll do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again <laughs> Now that we're finished rotting, we're going to put a steam cap on and just leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes. After the 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to do a curl test. So we're just going to release the rods, not all the way out, and we're just going to check if it's at the curl pattern that we want. So I normally do a check from the front, the sides, and the back, just to see if it's what I want. And then we're going to rinse. Now when we're rinsing, we're not going to remove the curls, the rods, we're just going to rinse with the rods in. So we're going to rinse and make sure that we get the most <laughs> guys i choked of on that out a while ago did you hear oh. that <laughs> oh. it's neutralizer time okay so after i use the towel to remove most of the water from the hair I'm going to wrap the towel around her hairline so that the neutralizer doesn't flow into her face. So you just, I put it in this bottle that I can just um, squeeze on each rod. So this sets the curls. So you cannot forget this step guys. You have to do this in order to make your curls tight and beautiful, okay? This is the last step actually. So it's almost over. So we're gonna put a steam cap on and of course you're going to leave it, let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna rinse those out with the rods in again. And then we're gonna take the rods out and you have your yourself a beautiful permanent curls jerry hair.
So here we're just discussing, you know, whether or not she wanted to cut it or not. But she did decide that she wanted to do a cut. So I did go ahead and cut that. However, the camera died, so I didn't have that footage. But I'm going to insert a photo so you guys can see what it looks like. So just thank you guys for watching. And please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a like and comment and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see i'll see you in the next one bye